welcome back to my channel so today I'm going to be doing a favorites video and I'm so excited to finally be doing this video because I feel like I'm so behind like everybody else has already started their favorites videos and I just hate not being in the loop so um, yeah I'm gonna go ahead and get right into this um, so yeah but before I get to anything else I know that you guys are gonna ask about this I know it's light um, it is actually a custom blonde that I had created for me by RPG show um, if you guys want me to do a video on it I will but it's not really that difficult it's just a lace wig and um, they just custom colored it for me I'll put all the information you need in the description box about it but it is my jam right now this is like literally the best wig I've ever <laughs> it's just amazing I've been wearing it nonstop, and I just I love it I don't even want to go back to my regular hair because I love this blonde so much and I really wish I could have this blonde hair for the rest of my life but I can't because I have fried my hair already so I can't dye it this color but if I could this is where I'd be I already have a million things to show you guys so um, let's jump right in miracle worker uh, moisturizer by philosophy you guys know that I love this stuff I showed this in my um, what video was that what video was that what my morning and night routine and I use this every day it makes your skin feel really really soft and supple this is a small jar so I think it's a small jar I think it's the one ounce jar but it's a really great moisturizer it's supposed to make you look radiant and firm your skin I like to use anti-aging moisturizers because they help to one repair your skin especially after you've had any scarring or dark marks or anything like that it doesn't fade dark marks but it helps to deal with the repair of your skin so it may not fade the darkness but it'll help with firming and re rejuvenating some of that elasticity and putting some of that plumpness back into your skin keeping it from looking so dull I definitely love this and I've been using it all month uh, vital actives vitamin C this is just a vitamin C serum that I got from Groupon in my Groupon unboxing I've been using this for everything I use it before I go to bed at night I've also tried this and mixed it in with my cover effects custom cover drops other skincare products I've talked about these in my morning night routine this is the organics argan oil of Morocco and this is basically just an argan oil all-purpose you can use it in the shower I love using this for my body when I'm done taking a shower and everything and I'm about to get out before I dry off I stand in the shower while I'm still wet and I pretty much just use this and put it all over my body while my body's still wet I just work it into my skin and then I'll dry off I'll pat dry with a towel my skin is like super soft afterwards and I got this in March and you see I'm almost like out of it so I need to get another one soon but I love this stuff so much and then I really love the Shea Moisture Superfruit Complex Body Lotion I love this stuff it's really really great it's also great for massages it smells really good and I really really love this lotion I just hate how thick it is it's super thick like it it's like a souffle kind of so it's kind of hard to get out of the bottle but it's worth it moving on to my makeup you guys know that I did a video at the beginning of April and I really really like these this is probably the two my two favorite things that I got out of that whole box of stuff that they sent me um, and I love these brushes they're really really soft um, they just pack on product great they blend out and buff out products great and it cosmetics is sold at Ulta so they're really easy to find and I just I love these I really really love these there's a bigger brush that I saw Nicole Guerrero using and I really want to get it so I might get it you guys know that I've been loving my um, Smashbox primer water this stuff has been holy grail for me this month because I ran out of fix plus spray even though my fix plus spray bottle is back there in the corner but she is empty and I'm just saving her for my six items when I take it to Mac and get my back to Mac free lipstick okay for now I've been trying the primer water this is a trial size so I'm probably going to go back and get the big size um, it's more expensive than Mac Fix Plus. I think Fix Plus runs for $21 and this one is like $31, $32. So it's about $10 more. But I feel like it's just worth it because of the packaging. I know a lot of people said that the primer water is the exact same as Mac's charged water spray and they just repackaged it. But honestly, I think 
it's worth buying just because the packaging is better on this one. Fix Plus, the way that it sprays out just doesn't spray evenly. It goes on blotchy to me. And I don't know, this, this spray is just more like, you see that? Like how it just like diffuses into the air. It's like, oh, you know? And then the Fix Plus is like, I've used that much of it. And so, I mean, it's, it's good. I like it. If you guys like primers, sprays, setting sprays, things like that, it's really good. I wouldn't necessarily say that it's the best spread setting spray that I've tried, but I mean, it's nice. Maybe it's just the packaging. Maybe I'm just a sucker for packaging, but if you haven't seen my review for Custom Cover Drops, you should check it out. I've done a review on it already. I do have some um, Get Ready With Me's coming. One is me not talking at all. It's more like an artsy fartsy kind of get ready with me. And then one is the Vicky vibe. So just let me know what you guys want to see. I mix this with everything. I love it. I mean, I can't get enough of it. So I mean, this is definitely my new fave. But before I was using that, end of March, beginning of April, I was using the Fit Me Matte Poreless Foundation by Maybelline. This stuff is awesome. It's a really great foundation. Um, it goes on really well and it doesn't move. Nonetheless, I do like this foundation. I also got the Maybelline Master Conceal Concealer and it's just like an, it's, it reminds me a lot of the LA Girl Pro Concealer. Actually, it's exactly like the LA Girl Pro Concealer. I would say that I like this enough to buy it again, but actually no because LA Girl Pro Concealer is $2.99. This is like $7.99, six or seven. And so I don't I don't think it's worth that much, but it is a good concealer though. I got it medium deep. Uh, Sasha Buttercup Setting Powder. This powder is pretty great. I've only had it for about a week and a half now, but I really, really like it. When I tell you that I'm dumping my Midnight Banana Powder, I'm probably gonna just give it to somebody because this is so much better than the Ben Nye banana powder I promise you guys one the packaging is just cuter it is a lot softer and it doesn't go on as patchy and chalky as the Ben Nye banana powder does um Ben Nye that powder I feel like is really really like cakey and I feel like it's specifically made for like stage makeup because it doesn't go on flawlessly like you would want it to you know and so I just find that the Sasha powder is so much softer it's a lot easier to use. If you guys want to check it out, I mean, I'm going to send you guys to Missy Lynn. Get this sent to me. I bought this with my money with Missy Lynn's coupon code. So um, check it out because this stuff is good. This Afra Illuminating Brush Blush Stripes. Amazing. Got this in my BoxyCharm box. If you guys saw my BoxyCharm unboxing, I love it so much just because it's so pigmented and it goes on beautifully. Um, really been loving this. I don't really have much to say about it. I just really love it. I've been wearing it nonstop, so. I got this in my Ipsy Glam Bag for the month. The Balm Nude Dude Eyeshadow. And this is the shade Fit. Look at the little black guy on there. Isn't he cute? This is a really great eyeshadow. It's actually one of my favorite eyeshadows that I've ever used on my lid. I'm not wearing it today, but um, it's just a really pretty champagne -y nude color and I love this so I'm thinking I'm gonna check out the nude dude um, eyeshadow palette because I like this shadow this is the BFF 3 lippy pencil and it is the best nude pencil um, well it's a brown it's not a nude it's a brown I'm sorry it's a brown lip liner but it goes with everything and I wear it with pretty much everything. Whenever I wanna like ombre my lips or make my lipstick match my skin tone better, I use this and it's so smooth and it just goes on so smoothly and it's very, very pigmented and it's only $5. So you can't beat that. And this is the Super Shock Cheek Blush from ColourPop Cosmetics. And this is the color Fox and it is really pretty. What I love about these blushes is that they're so bouncy. Like when you touch them, they feel bouncy. I've already talked about this before previously in a favorites video. I think it was like a year ago actually, but I wanted to mention it again. Maybe some of you newer subscribers don't know about it, but this is the MAC Skin Base. Um, I always say MAC Skin Base Visage, but Base Visage is the name of the primer in like French or something. Prep and Prime Skin Primer. This is my favorite primer of all time. I'm just gonna throw that out there. This has to be my favorite primer of all time. It's not mattifying. It's just like when you take pictures or you're in flash photography or if you're gonna be filming videos, um, it really 
really works because what it does is it has light reflecting particles in it. They look like little sparklets. Light reflecting particles that kind of diffuse your face and make all of your imperfections kind of look blurred in pictures. Don't know how that works. I don't know the science behind that, but I just know that's what the lady told me at MAC and that, I mean, I notice a difference when I wear it. So, and I've been mixing this with my Cover FX Custom Cover Drops. This is probably one of my favorite combinations with my Custom Cover Drops. It's probably my favorite primer of all time and if I ever run out of this, I will be running to grab another one because I love it. This new Intense Butter Gloss that I got from NYX, it's called um, Tres Leches. And this is what I'm wearing on my lips right now. I really love this. It's a great pinky nude color for the spring summer time. So I keep this in my purse. If you know, you guys know, if I keep something in my purse, that means I really like it because I have to have it with me all the time. So this is my touch up gloss. I love it. I put it on top of everything and it just works. Woo, y'all. I got so many products to show y'all. I'm sorry. I got too much stuff this month, guys. Doing the most. This is the Baked Bronzer in Glow. I've tried the Baked Bronzers in like deep or whatever the darker colors are um, for like bronzing, like super bronzing your face. I feel like this one matches my skin tone, but it just adds a, that glowiness that you need for like a natural everyday look. I also like to use it on my décolleté. How do you say that word? I'm not French, so I don't, I don't speak French. Even though I just found out that my great grandfather was French. Go figure. I like to put it on my chest and my neck and all that, make it look bronzy if I'm going to be, um, you know, going outside or something. It just looks pretty. Not that I'm trying to draw attention to my boobs because obviously I don't have any, but I mean, it just makes me look glowy. And then I've been liking this Romantic Rose Blush by Milani as well. And if I can get it open to show you guys, okay. This is the Romantic Rose Blush. I just love it. It's very pigmented, but it doesn't have any shimmer or anything in it. So it doesn't like make your cheeks look shiny. It's just a matte rose color. And then um, two brow products that I've been loving. The Milani Brow Shaping Gel. I've just needed a brow gel, period. And I was like blessed with a whole bunch of brow gels. I have a lot of them actually that I just got from the makeup show. They sent in the um, blogger box that I got. So that's a cheaper alternative. I believe this is by Auraline Cosmetics, but they have different shades. Like they have like a gold one for like blonde hair and like a brown one and a neutral one. This is the neutral brow tint, even though it's really golden. What I use it for is for my brows, because I have this blonde hair on, I didn't want like super harsh black brown brows. So I just use my regular brow color and then I apply this on top. The undertone is brown. So it's not like I have blonde eyebrows, if that makes sense. It kind of just helps to match my blonde hair. So I've been using that and I really, really like it. Um, like I said, this is from r -Line Cosmetics. If you guys are going to the makeup show, um, they have makeup show in Dallas, Chicago, New York, LA. They're all throughout the year. But if you guys end up going to makeup show, um, I believe they have these by r -Line Cosmetics. So you guys should check them out. Okay, last two beauty products that I want to talk about are um, two sprays. This one first. This is the Bombshell Spray by Victoria's Secret. Um, and it's just their body mist. I saw Shirley B. talking, Shirley B. Inyang talking about this in her recent haul one of her recent hauls um and it just she reminded me of how much i used to love this i used to get these when i was in high school and they just smell so good it's just like i just love to spray it on me and i just like wherever i go i spray this i spray it when i use the bathroom in public places i sprayed it before i got on the plane i spray it after the plane because planes make me feel icky and gross love to travel with this i love keeping it in my purse because like you just never know when you want to smell good and i've become <coughs> I probably should have sprayed that in my mouth and I've never been a really girly girl to just walk around smelling good all the time but I've always told myself that I wanted to be just like my mom because my mom smells good all times of day and so I wanted to be more like that especially now because I have a husband I kind of have to like wake up smelling good like because he just you know guys like for us to smell good so you have a man smell good all the time you'll never lose um because I'm so obsessed with smell goods right now I was at Urban Outfitters and I was checking out and I saw these at the front. They're just little um, perfumes. This one is Citron Glacé. Citron Glacé. And it is a just a citrusy smelling perfume. And I wish you guys could smell it because it smells so good. But I mean, I spray this one on me too all the time. And it's a really fresh scent. It's great for the springtime, the summertime. I always have to buy three things. Is that weird that I always have to buy three things when I go somewhere? I can't buy one thing. Like I have to buy three things every time. I think it's like 
ingrained in my brain from working at Forever 21. They want you to buy three things because it like helps you them meet their unit per transaction. And so it helps their sales to have an average of three items or more. So headband, headband, perfume. So I got a perfume. <laughs> really been enjoying that. Um, so my favorite clothing item for the month would definitely have to be this jacket that I got from American Apparel. It is just a windbreaker. You guys have seen me wear this a million times um, in like my Instagram pictures and everything like that. I can ball it up super small and stick it in my purse. Um, and I take it everywhere with me. It's my favorite jacket ever in life. And this is my baby and I love it so much. I don't know what I would do without this jacket. I just love it. But I got it from American Apparel. They had their 90% off sale. So I got this from ah, my eye. Then my grocery favorite for the month. If you guys don't know, I do have a grocery. I can't get this out of my eye. My grocery, ah! Okay, my grocery favorite for the month would have to be a set of spices from a site called Essie Spice. This is just one of them, but I showed Essie Spice in my Life with the Logans vlogs. If you guys follow me on Life with the Logans, which you should. They're just really great. So you guys could check out Essie Spice. I will put the link in the description box to Essie Spice. This is not sponsored by Essie Spice or anything like that. I just wanted to tell you guys about them because I like it. And they have really different spices. They're like really like ethnic kind of spices. This one is a Miko dry rub. It's a spice rub. There's also like a tamarind flavored jelly type thing. It's really good. I put it on some salmon. It's pretty good. Um, there's like a jerk kind of flavored one. It's called mango chili medley. It's really good. Um, and then there's a cocoa for garlic garlic sauce. So yeah, I have all of them, but the other ones are in my refrigerator. I didn't want to get them out. This one is the dry rub, so it's not cold or anything, but I just wanted to show you guys that. And then last but not least, I wanted to talk about my app of the month. First one is an app and then another one is not an app, but I just wanted to reiterate it to you guys because I really actually really love it. Um, this app right her, okay? And I'm gonna click on that for you guys so you guys can see it. This is Ibotta. Ibotta is just an app where you can get rebates on your groceries. So if you like to grocery shop or if you are a gro uh, frequent grocery shopper, you should get Ibotta um, because you can get rebates on groceries. So basically what you do is you go to like a store. So I'm gonna click Target. You click on a store that you go to frequently and you can get cash back on groceries. So if you are gonna buy some, what is this, some salsa, you would get 20 cents back on some salsa. Um, some salsa, why am I saying it like that? You can get a lot of cash back on like stuff that you just buy regularly all the time. I remember one time I went and it was that time of the month and I needed to buy some feminine products. I ended up getting like $5 cash back. Oh, they have Sara Lee bread. Yes, let me mark that. And so I will have a link to that in the description box if you guys wanna check that out because I love Ibotta. Another thing that I wanna tell you guys about, I've talked about it already, in the past in my um, how to save money or how to budget video but digit is life like I save so much money on digit and when I made that video I had just started using digit for like a month but now I'm like obsessed with it like I literally have saved all my money through digit because I can just send a text to digit and tell digit that I want to save this much amount of money or I want to withdraw this amount of money from my savings and it'll be there the next day Otherwise, I would have to go to my other savings account, which like you have to wait six, five to six business days to get that money. And I ain't got time for that. Okay, I'm a quick mover. And when I want to buy something, I want to buy it the next day. Having Digit has just been a lifesaver for me. It's also secretly taking money from my account. Not secretly, but you know it's taking money from your account. But it takes out like, you know, little dollars and cents every now and then. And so it's accumulated a lot of money over time. And that has really helped me. So if you guys want to sign up for Digit, um, check it out. It's, by the way, it is approved by the FDIC or the FIDC, whichever one it is. Um, whichever one is like federal that like makes sure that it's a legit company. So. I love Digit and I think you guys would like it too if you're not really good at saving money. It really does help. Last thing I want to talk about is a secret that I've been holding from you guys, but y'all want to hear a secret? I've been creeping on y'all. So I've been wanting to do this new segment on my channel and I'm going to be shouting out channels that I find that I like. And one thing that I don't want you guys to do, I didn't want to tell you guys about this because 
I didn't want you guys to know that I was creeping on y'all and I didn't want you guys to know that I was looking for channels to shout out because I don't want you guys to to come on uh, my channel or anybody else's channel commenting in the comments hey check out my channel because I don't feel like that's a good way to do it I didn't do it that way that's not how I got subscribers and I don't think that's how you should get subscribers either because it's not genuine it's not fair I have been squandering through my comments and I've been coming up with lists of people that I that I found that I like and that I wanted to check out their videos and things like that and um, I wanted to give some shout outs to people that I really enjoy watching this month. First person that I really enjoy watching is it's Lena Mar. Video editing is out of this world is really really great um she has really great quality she's really cool i feel like her style i really like how she makes videos she puts a lot of hard work into her videos and i really appreciate that i really like her vibe so you guys should check her out i also like lissetti and if you guys watch lissetti she's actually more popular than me and she's so adorable she's literally the most adorable girl i've ever seen she reminds me of like a darker skinned ariana grande like she's so cute i love her and so i've been watching her videos lately and i've really been enjoying them you guys should check her out link will be in the description box another person that i've been watching which i actually have been following this girl since forever um i've been following symphony on tumblr for years and i didn't even know that she started a youtube channel but she just started one so you guys should check her out and she's really sweet she's a super sweet girl she did a video that was inspired by me so i got so excited and i was like oh my god i have to shout you out but Pretty sure we're friends so hey symphony girl what's up so those are my three channels that i will feature this month and you guys if you want me to find your channel or if you guys want me to check you out i don't want you guys to shamelessly plug yourselves in the, in the comments because you will get marked for spam i don't do that youtube does that um so just keep commenting keep being yourself keep putting out great quality content and i want to find you i want to find you on my own i don't want you guys to tell me to watch you you know what i mean so this one was super long. I'm sorry, guys. But I hope that you guys enjoyed it. I love you guys, and I will talk to you guys in my next video. Oh, if you have any questions about what I have on, I have on a necklace from Forever 21, and this shirt is from She Inside, I think. Links will be in the description box, as well as links to everything that I mentioned in this video. And I will talk to you guys in my next video. I right.